Tommy L here live from the ES uh, forum uh, finished the lawn tractor uh, conversion this was absolutely awesome I'm so happy that I did this um, I would do it again in a heartbeat way more powerful than the internal combustion engine so let's take a look and see what we've got here and uh, we can see the uh, the specs as I'm driving it and cutting grass to see how much amperage and uh, wattage that I'm right, using here she is the uh, craftsman uh, that's been converted so if we go down here I removed the internal combustion engine and replaced it with a Mott Energy 1004. So this is the uh, the one the ME 1004. Got it from EV Drives. If we take a look in the back here, uh, there's the shunt from ebikes.ca from Justin. So uh, there's a shunt good for four or six hundred amps and uh, everything uh, lug terminals and the wiring that you see there is two gauge. Uh, welding cable, highly flexible. Again, uh, that came from EV drives with the motor. Coming up top here, I uh, built a battery box out of uh, aluminum, 5052, and uh, TIG welded it together. And uh, from here, my company, I got uh, the raw velocity uh, motorcycle start batteries. Each one of these units is uh, 12 volts, 12.8 volts nominal at 9.2 amp hour. So I have uh, one, two, three, four in parallel, and then one, two, three, four in series. So uh, I have a total of a 1.88 kilowatt pack, uh, 51.2 volts nominal, uh, capable of uh, somewhere around 5 or 7C um, uh, constant uh, from it, but I pull about 2 to 3C uh, from it uh, with, this, uh, with this motor and contactor configuration going over to this side of the unit and down you can see the motor again and you can see here we've got uh, the two gauge highly flexible cable uh, with the lugs uh, and heat shrink over top uh, if you take a look in the back there you can see that there is a 600 amp uh, contactor which is awesome and above that a 400 amp fuse uh, that we've got uh, in line as well so uh, that's what we have. But what you're interested in is let's see what the watt draw is, etc. Uh, Runtime, about 25 minutes while cutting, uh, uh, so riding and the blades uh, spinning. Uh, and about uh, two and a half hours if I'm just using it as a lawn tractor to drive around. So let's check the stats out. That's what we're here to do. So get that closed up. And the only thing that we have to do to flip her on is I put on a toggle switch here and uh, we have the uh, cycle analyst version 2.25 and let's flip it on nice and quiet currently 54.1 uh, volts and let's see what we got going on here it looks like uh, we're drawing 25 amps just on its own Hours. So we're going to leave it in this mode right here. We'll do that. So we'll get her going. Lots of power. Got it stuck. And I'm going to fire the blades up here. So there we go, down on the cycle analyst and blades coming on. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens here. So we're drawing 16 or 17 amps right now.
like while she's cutting around 90 to 100 amps. Performance is really good. Just running on her own around uh, 15 to 20 amps seems to be hovering around there when I put her in second gear looks like 26 amps Twelve to fifteen hundred watts. Well, while I'm just uh, driving around, and at idle, it looks like it's about eight hundred watts, eight nine hundred watts, and engage the blades. kilowatts or 4,000 watts while we're cutting. Uh, backing up the hill while I was cutting uh, went between 4 and 5 kW, so you know, 4 or 5,000 watts. So it seems to be right around there. Uh, when I'm on level ground and I'm just uh, cutting and stuff like that, maybe 3.7 um, uh, kW, so 3,700 watts. Uh, so uh, very, very, very pleased um, with this. So I'm going to finish cutting grass and um, you know what? Happy, happy lawn tractor building. If you're going to do it, I, uh, I'd do it. I'd do it again. That's for sure. Okay. So uh, Tommy L here live from the ES forum. We are switched on, and we are going to go finish cutting. <laughs>
less than one hour and the internal combustion engine is out and uh, this puppy is ready to get degreased and cleaned up and electrified.